friends uh, today we'll be talking about multi stage compression this is a simple schematic diagram of a multi stage compressor uh, this 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 compressor we'll compare it with a single stage compressor and look at how it is better than a single stage compressor uh, first if you look at the diagram there are two stages of compression uh, mainly that is here there is a compression from first this is the first stage of compression and this is the second stage of compression in between there is an intercooler uh, so what happens is uh, first in the first cylinder in the cylinder one cylinder one uh, suction takes place uh, that is the what uh, properties of the air sucked in will be p1 t1 and v1 the pressure will be p1 temperature t1 and volume v1 and then it will get compressed uh, to an intermediate pressure of P2 so it will uh, lead to rise in temperature when we compress the volume of air so uh, the volume reduces and the temperature will increase so T2 will be greater than T1 here what we do next is we pass this air uh, compressed air through an intercooler where the pressure and the volume remain same but the temperature of the air that is uh, compressed in the cylinder 1 will get reduced back to the initial temperature so so this so it, it comes out in the form of p2 t1 that is the initial temperature and v2 from here it then is uh, passed into the second cylinder where the it gets compressed to the required delivery pressure so P2 T1 V2 and goes into the second cylinder and comes out as P3 T2 and V3. So from here we can see that the temperature, rise in temperature is not too much because there is an intercooler in between. So this is one of the main advantages of a multi-stage compressor. If we look at further advantages when we compare it with the single stage compressor is that uh, the work required per kg of air that is reduced is very less. That is a uh, for a single stage compressor, the pressure uh, change is very drastic. That is from uh, low pressure to high pressure uh, change occurs only in one, one stage. So the amount of work to be done is very high in a single stage compressor. Whereas in multi stage compressor, it is compressed first to an intermediate uh, pressure and then to uh, the required delivery pressure. And then it reduces leakage of air because the amount of compression, the amount of pressurized air inside the uh, cylinder is uh, less when compared it with the single stage compressor. Uh, in a single stage compressor, the uh, material should be very good uh, so that there is no leakage of air because it occurs only in one stage and the pressure inside the cylinder will be very high. And next is the effective lubrication occurs uh, inside this here. There is a crank and the flywheel so there effective lubrication occurs because the temperature operating temperatures will be very low uh, because uh, uh, lower compare lower than the operating temperature of the single stage compressor because here we use an intercooler hence the temperature won't be as high as a single stage compressor and uh, the second and the next uh, advantage again it is due to the low temperature is that cheaper materials can be used that is you need not uh, need uh, materials that resist high temperature or high pressure because uh, in a multi-stage compression we do it in two stages or two or more stages hence the materials that we use can be of lower grade but there are a few there are a few disadvantages i'm being very picky here that is uh, the unit is pretty complicated but you know you don't you don't design the compression you just buy the compressor so it's okay but the initial cost is high but on the long run this is more economical than a, a single stage compressor so friends here it is uh, the, uh, an overall uh, overview of the multi stage compressor in the next video we will uh, look at the pv diagram and the ts diagram of multi stage compressor and derive the equation for work done and the requirement for uh, intermediate pressure in, in the multi stage compressor thank you